On this worksheet, we're going to practice drawing a few different types of fatty acids. Each one of these problems is going to describe what the fatty acid should look like, and we're just going to draw it based on the description. The first fatty acid that we're drawing is cis palmitoleic acid. It tells us that this is a 16 carbon monounsaturated. That means one carbon carbon double bond, and the carbon carbon double bond is located at carbon number six. Um, it does have the cis configuration. The cis configuration of a double bond means that the two hydrogen atoms on the double bond are both located on the same side of the double bond. Let's begin by drawing our 16 carbon atoms. I'm just going to make line structure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I'm going to go ahead and put the carbon, uh, the carbon oxygen, oxygen double bond and the OH of the fatty acid carboxylic acid group. I'm also going to number the carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we've got all of our carbon atoms. Next thing we should do is get our double bond in place. The double bond is located at carbon number nine, which is right here. Double bonds go from the low number to the high number. So if the double bond is located at nine, that means it's in between nine and 10. Last but not least, we need to have our double bond showing the cis configuration. So it needs to have a shape that looks like this. Right now, the way that I've drawn it, it's actually in the trans configuration, which means that I do need to erase and redraw the, the molecule. I don't need to get rid of the whole entire thing, but basically what I need to do is swap the position of the hydrogen atom and carbons 11 through 16 so that the two hydrogen atoms are going to end up on the same side of the double bond. So I am going to just kind of move this down a little bit and I'm going to erase carbons 11 through 16 and also that hydrogen atom and I'm going to redraw. Here's my carbon number 11. I'm going to draw that hydrogen in on there. And then I'm going to go back to my carbons. Here's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, as you're drawing these carbons, 11 through 16, you know, you don't have to draw it heading in this direction like I did. You could have drawn it going straight up, or you could have even drawn it curling around in this direction. What's most important is that this structure has some sort of bend to it. It's not just zigzags in a straight line. Let's take a look at our next one. We're drawing stearic acid. This is 18 carbons saturated. So that means that it is all carbon-carbon single bonds, no double bonds. Here's carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Since this is saturated, there are no carbon-carbon double bonds. We don't need to number the carbon chain. We don't need to add anything else to this structure. And then last but not least, we have transoleic acid. This is also 18 carbons. It's monounsaturated, meaning one carbon-carbon double bond. It's going to be trans. Double bond is at carbon number nine. Um, here's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm going to make my carboxylic acid group. And then we will number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Double bond is in between carbons nine and ten, and this one we want to be trans, which is exactly how I just happened to draw it, so that works out perfect. The last problem says that a saturated fatty acid, which is what we have right here, and a trans unsaturated fatty acid, which we have right here, they tend to have similar physical properties, which are different from cis. The first one that we drew is the cis, an example of a cis fatty acid. For example, saturated and trans tend to be solids at room temperature. Cis tends to be a liquid. Can we provide an explanation for this based on the similarity of the structure? Well, as we're looking right now at the saturated and the trans fatty acids, we can see that they have a very linear, it's zigzagged, but it's a very linear shape to them at all, where the cis has a kink in the shape of the molecule. It doesn't just continue across in a straight line. Um, so our explanation is that the cis 
Fatty acids have a kink in their structure. And we know that that kink in the structure prevents the fatty acids from laying down and packing tightly together, um, which is what helps them be a liquid um, at room temperature. No kink in the structure for the trans fatty acids. So the cis fatty acids are gonna have some sort of bend to their shape like this, whereas the trans fatty acids have no bend to their overall shape. They're just pretty nice straight lines.